the next generation reading experience. Built by the world's top engineer. Increasing reader efficiency by an arbitrary percent. This is Convene. According to Google, the definition of reading is the action or skill of reading written or printed manner silently or aloud. Now we are changing that definition. Actually, not really changing the definition, just having fun reading with friends. But anyways, this is Convene. Now hopefully I edited that intro ridiculously hype, but this is an update video on the startup that started over two years ago. This channel started with a series called the Book Club series, where it went from building a complete app and releasing it to the App Store from very scratch, like even the planning part of the application. That series had 23 episodes in it, but the code in that wasn't that good because it was a little bit rushed. I was trying to get a video out every single week. This app idea is the actual thing that got me to start and continue with my YouTube channel. I was putting out a video every single week. Then that kind of led to a little bit of burnout. I came back with the relaunch of the application and I called it Convene. I had this brilliant new idea of relaunching as an open source project. And I did it at the same time as when I bought a fixer up for a house and when I was going on a couple of vacations. So trying to keep up with it, I burnt out again. But I am the type of person that finishes projects whenever they start one. I kept working on the side from time to time when I had a little break in maybe the house projects or stuff like that. And today the main feature of the app is out. Let me show you what we got. All right, so this is what the app is like. So you got this nice little sign in screen. And you can sign in with Google, which is what I'm going to do. Brings it to this nice little main screen. So all this stuff was there in the previous update and this currently reading section up top, where it's basically a list of all the books that you're reading, whether it's within a club or whether it's your own personal book, they're at the top. So that was there before. And this personal book, that's what was already implemented. So let's say we want to read Dune. That's the book I'm reading now. So we add this and there we go. Now we can update the pages we have. We're on page. Uh oh! Uh, I need to grow up. 70. And we're that far into Dune. Now let's say we finally finished reading Dune. We can click this finish, and it'll give you make you rate the book. I'll give it a four and a half stars. You can drag it and see it update real time. Four and a half. It took a long time to pick up, but once it did, it was fantastic. And we want to add this book to our history. If you click no, it just takes you back to the old screen. So there we go. Now it's gone from that main screen. We can go into our history. There's our Dune history right there. So that was all there before. And obviously you can log out up here. But the new things that I add is that now you can actually create a club and join a club right there. So let's just go ahead and create our own club. So this club will need a name. Well, there's a bug and needs to fix. I'll, I'll, I'll do that at some point. Don't worry. We're gonna call this video club because I'm making this for a video. So create that club and there we go, we got a video club. So let's go into it. So at the top you'll notice that there's no book in this book club. So you can select a time for when you want the next book club meeting and then select the book. So it automatically goes to two weeks and ahead of time, but let's say you want it to be August 11th. We can update that and then select the book. All right, so we take that and add it to our little book club list and there we go. Now it's part of that book club. And at the top right, you can see all the members. The current member is only just me. And the way you add members is you copy this club ID using the plus and then send it to the person that you want them to join. So here, let's say I log in with my other account. I want to join a club. I got to add the member ID and then I could join it and I'm in the video club. And I was just testing, so that's not my actual details, but, but you, you get the point. Now you can also leave the club. You get brought back and you don't need to be in that club anymore. You can delete the books. And that's a lot of the core features already within the application. Now that's hype, but where do we go from here? First, the club needs a lot more features added to it. We need to include some sort of group chat, a video call so people can actually interact with their book clubs within the actual app. The book, whenever it's selected, needs to go into the personal list of the books that people are reading and somehow link it back to the club so you can see who actually finished the book and who didn't. We need a discover page so you can find new friends and new book clubs that you could join. And a recommendation engine that recommends books based on the rankings that you give them. This could be both for personal books and for books within the club so that you could find books that you all like to read together. Now, for all the VCs and investors out there, this is a message for you. There's this app called Goodreads that, in my opinion, 
not the best application, but it is the number one application for books. And in 2009, when they were getting started, they got $2 million worth of funding. Convene has a much higher center than Goodreads. Goodreads is mostly just a book recommendation website and kind of like a Facebook feed of, of books that people are reading. Convene is a whole platform. I like to think of it as the next Discord, but instead of crypto spam messages, you get wholesome book clubs. If you're interested in investing or buying this application, I think you know where to find me. Now, the rest of this video I wanna to dedicate to you, the person watching. I'm feeling a little bit grateful. Whether this is your first video that you stumbled upon or whether you've been here for a while, you might have noticed that the past kind of style of my videos had changed a lot. I started out as a strictly Flutter tutorial channel and my goal was to quit my job and do this full time. I ended up doing that, but then, I found a new job that I actually really enjoy. And since then I've been kind of struggling with the, the why of my content creation online journey, whatever this is called. I know that I like learning, I know that I like teaching, but to have that why and that purpose, it's the driving force for me for a lot of things I do. Over the past couple of weeks, maybe months, I think I've finally got it nailed down. My goal is to inspire creativity through education. I have a little poster on my computer written with that little message. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen this new project I've started with my girlfriend. It's called hungrymind.com. Like I said, I like to work on home improvement projects I'd like to do a lot of woodworking and I feel like that's a cool way to inspire creativity through education I teach people how to do things in the physical world but this is not a woodworking channel this is a tech and coding and stuff like that type of channel but I still want to take that meaning and purpose and bring it into this I have a couple of video ideas out there that I think are very inspiring and hopefully some cool things that you haven't really seen before I want to take that same message of inspiring creativity through education I want to do it through projects that hopefully you haven't really seen before there's so many tutorials there's so many channels there's so many documentation out there teaching you how to do every single small thing within a language or framework but I think inspiration comes through seeing things that nobody else is really doing and I want to do that through my content I think the best example of what I want to do is the controlling LEDs with Flutter video. When I look back at it, the video is a little bit cringy, but I like the structure of it. And I think it was something new that hasn't really been seen before. I feel like since then my editing skills have gotten a little bit better. I think my storytelling has gotten a little bit better. And I think if I was to redo that video, it would come out a lot better and pair that with some bigger and cooler ideas too. I think that's a good combo and I think it'd be something that I enjoy putting into every video and giving my best and something that I'd be proud of at the end of the day. There'd be less videos with this approach, but my goal is to make every video an absolute banger and inspire you to open up your creativity and build some awesome stuff. Let me hear your thoughts about this in the comments and make sure to click that notification bell because I think there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming.